three things to check in any CKD or dialysis patient. First and foremost, the CBC. Hemoglobin level is to be maintained around 10. For a normal healthy person, it is around 30. Second thing, stool routine microscopy occult blood for three days to see if there is any occult bleeding in the stools, which may not be visible. Third thing, iron studies of the blood, in that the transferrin saturation has to be maintained around 25 to 35%. After that, you first supplement iron intravenously. Oral tablets don't work. The intravenous injection is around 1000 to 1500 milligrams of iron carboxymaltose, which is safe without any adverse events or reactions. After that, you start erythropoietin around 10,000 units per week to around 4,000 twice a week as required by the patient. See the trend of the hemoglobin once a month and once it reaches 10, the erythropoietin can be completely stopped and restarted if required. As a rule, maybe around 100 mg of IV iron is given once a month to every dialysis patient to replenish the minor losses which happen in the dialysis circuit. The erythropoietin acts as the signal from the kidney to the bone marrow to produce more hemoglobin from the precursor cells of the RBCs. Thank you.